Hello, my name is uh, Stig Elke Rasmussen and I'm a quantum engineer at Quantify. And uh, together with uh, Søren Gammelmark, I'm going to give a talk here at GoTo uh, about quantum computers and how to solve hard problems using quantum computers and high performance uh, computing. In the talk, we'll talk about uh, what quantum computers are and how to use them. Uh, we'll also talk about which platforms you can use to build quantum computers and how to do this. Um, we are also going to talk about the, the different uh, applications of quantum computers and uh, where it might be the first place that you can actually use these quantum computers. Going into more detail about how a quantum computer works. So there are different platforms to use for quantum computers. One of them is called superconducting circuits and this is a platform that Google and IBM are using uh, to build quantum computers. In superconducting circuits we are taking regular computer chips and then cooling them down to minus 273 degrees. This is very close to the absolute uh, minimum temperature in the world. And, and at that temperature, things are beginning to become quantum mechanical and, super, and superconducting, meaning that there are no resistance in, uh, in the circuits. At these temperatures, uh, things or electrons can actually tunnel through the wires, giving this quantum mechanical effect. And using this quantum mechanical effect, we can create these quantum bits. A quantum bit that is a, like a regular bit that could be either zero or one. A quantum bit can be in a superposition of zero and one at the same time. This means that a quantum bit can calculate different things at different times or at the same time, actually. And this is a huge advantage over regular bits, which can only be in one place at one time. So, using this quantum mechanical effect, we can calculate several things in parallel without using more than one computer. And that is very, very effective. One of the places that we are going to use quantum computers is uh, quantum chemistry. And chemistry is a very important problem because many drugs are discovered uh, and needs to be discovered, and these are actually chemical. Um, so, in order to discover new drugs, you need to simulate uh, chemical molecules. And in order to do that, you need a very, very strong classical computer. But as they are quantum mechanical, a quantum computer is very suitable for simulating these molecules. So you can actually use a quantum computer to simulate how these molecules would uh, act if you put one molecule into a protein. And this is very important if you want to create new drugs, since new drugs basically work by entering your body and therefore docking into a part of your body that may be a protein. And then this, um, this molecule then has its effect. But if you can simulate that before testing on humans or even animals, then you can save, save a lot of time in this testing and a lot of money and a lot of risk uh, by doing this testing on a quantum computer beforehand. Another place where we think quantum computing will uh, make a difference is within finance, where you may have uh, some risk that you want to mitigate or a portfolio that you want to, to maximize profit of. Say you have a portfolio of a thousand stocks and you only want to pick a hundred stocks, then that is a very difficult problem because there are a lot of different combinations that you can do, but how do you know that you optimize or maximize your return? In order to do that, you need a very big classical computer or you need a very good quantum computer because a quantum computer is very good uh, at figuring out combinations of different things. Finally, there is uh, logistics, which is the third uh, application that we in Quantify C will be uh, suitable for a quantum computer. And logistics has the, more or less the same problem as finance, where you have, for instance, a lot of harbors, and then you have one ship that has to go through 10 of these harbors. That gives a lot of different combinations, and um, that is very difficult to figure out on a classical computer. Which harbors do you cycle through in order to maximize your profit or uh, maximize how you deliver the, go the goods? Uh, so that is also a, a problem that is very suitable for a quantum computer. In the talk, we're also going to give a lot of uh, technical detail on how we're approaching building such a system. Because quantum computers are not yet very good computers, not compared to classical computers, we are actually not building software system in Quantify that are using quantum computers at the moment, but we are building uh, systems that are ready to use quantum computers. So we're using very high performance uh, 
classical computers uh, using the uh, Amazon uh, compute stack, cloud computing, and we're using uh, many thousands of these computers at the same time to solve very difficult uh, chemistry problems or financial problems or uh, logistics problems. Uh, and building such a, a large solution uh, using that many computers is very difficult. And when you then add that we also want to use a quantum computer as part of this stack, then you get a very, very difficult problem. And that is, in essence, what we are trying to do, um, to build a very difficult system and use it to solve a very, very difficult problem.